<laughs> Thank you. Where's hometown for you, Dan? Sugar Grove, Pennsylvania, Wrightsville when I was a kid. Now, how did a guy from Wrightsville and Sugar Grove get a word that there was even races occurring at Watts Flats? I really don't remember that. Yeah. But I know there was several people in Wrightsville that took cars up there. And when you first go up there, you're a young-looking guy. You must have been 10 years old. No, I was 18. <laughs> That's me right there. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. With, with trophy and everything. Yeah. He's, he's only 10 years old then. He's pretty young. Yeah, and he had his, notice he had these good-looking women hanging around him, too. Is that the why you did this, Don? Was it for the a women? part of it, yeah. 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 And 75 lap championship, that's 1958. I'm just visualizing 75 laps around that uh, track. That's not easy. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Talk to me about the track itself. When you close your eyes and think about coming on to the track, describe a lap for me. Well, the checkered flag, and then you went across a small flat. You turned left. You couldn't see for about 100 feet because you just went through the creek. You went up a hill, across the flat to the top, left turn, down the hill on the other end, across the bridge, and back by the flagman. And hopefully you got turned because if you went straight, you run into the people. <laughs> they were up on the hill? They were up on the bank. Yeah. And the economics of it were, what did it cost you to get onto the track, do you remember? Oh, I remember one time buying a car for $20 on Saturday and running it on Sunday. <laughs> we didn't buy tires, there was a scrap yard in Warren and they had a huge pile of old tires. Right. So we'd go down there and round up tires to run. Right. If we couldn't find any without any hole, we'd cut the beads off other tires and put one tire inside the other to cover up the hole. <laughs> what else did you do to change? I mean, these were jalopies. They were literally... Yeah, yeah, right. Anything else you would have to do to sort of modify it so you could eat from race it? Well, you tore anything out you didn't need to run. Right. You'd get a hammer and chisel and chisel the fenders off. Right. Try to put something on front and save the radiator, which didn't always work. Right. That was about it. When you, do you remember, uh, Don, you won like, you won three races according to our, our historians there. Do you, were you there at year one in 1956, do you recall? No. No? No. What years did you race there? Uh, 57 to in the early 60s, I can't remember what year. And the owners of the track were the McNitz? McNitz, yes. Uh, now, did that would have been Don and Howard McNitt? Do you yeah, Don and Howard, and Red was there. I don't know if he was part owner. And Don and Howard's father was there. Was yeah. yeah. Uh, did, did you also have a, a, anybody else in your family who raced there at all? My brother. Did he race there at yeah. all? Yeah. yeah. He's here. Yeah? He's here. Uh, between the two of you guys, who was the best? Well, of course, me. <laughs> I'll ask him the same question. Okay. <laughs> as, as you were uh, uh, reflect back on those few years at the Roller Bowl, were there any sort of incidents or anecdotes of events that you recall? That uh, probably the one I recall most is the one in that picture. I passed Johnny Whitehead on the last lap. And won that? Did you really? Yes, I did. Did, did Johnny know you were coming? Uh, probably. I think I'd bumped into him before that. Yeah. Did that happen a lot? Was there a lot of kind of pushing and shoving? And uh, most of it wasn't intentional. Nobody purposely rammed into anybody else. Did you ever see in the pits after races where the drivers would get a little... Uh, a few times, yes, I did. Was it just pushing and shoving? Or were there, did you ever, you ever see a... Oh, I can remember one time... One fella, Charlie Bacon, and one of the, what's the guys have the gravel pit? Louis. James. James. Yeah. One of the James, they got in an argument, and Charlie wanted to fight, and the James says, I don't want to fight you, you're an old man. And Charlie's 
brother stepped up, says, I'm Charlie's brother, I'm not an old man, and he popped him in the jaw, and broke his hand. <laughs> well, that would teach him, right? Yeah. Yeah, so much for blood. Yeah, no, there wasn't a whole lot of actual fighting. It was usually yelling and hollering and threatening, and that's about it. Did you, uh, after the races, did you guys sort of hang around, and was it a uh, kind of a fraternal type group, or did you sort of get your cars and go home? Oh, usually we got the cars and went home. There'd be three or four of the guys that maybe lived close to you, and you'd be in contact with them all the time, but it wasn't like one big family. Right, right. Uh, when you won, which you, you did, uh, what kind of purse was there, Don? Do you recall? As I recall, I won $30. Mm -hmm. That's the cost of a car. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> it was profitable back then. Yeah. Did you find yourself going after Roller Bowl? Did you race at State Line? Did you? Uh, yeah, I raced at State Line. I think I was 60 years old. I still raced there in the spectators. Did you really? Yeah. Good for you. What drove you? Was it obviously you were having fun? Well, well I quit because I got married. Right. And then the kids grew up and left, and I don't know. I started again. My cousin owned State Line, Franny Siemens. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And that was partially why I started back up. Right. My gosh, good for you. Good for you. Uh, after, when you went, you got done with Rollerball, Stan, what else, what other race tracks did you race at, Don? Oh, I've been to quite a, quite a few of them. There was one in Sherman, in a gravel pit. There was one in Frewsburg, up on top of a hill. There was one in Titusville. Uh... They had one in Wrightsville for a while. There was quite a few little old tracks around. You did it for the fun of it, obviously, not yeah. the money. No, you didn't do it for the money. Yeah. No. Who were some of the when you were on a racetrack, Don? Uh, were there some of the some certain drivers that you really knew they were there that were either tough, rough, or really good? I mean, what are some of the character, the names that you remember? Well, there was some good ones, like back at Rollerball, there was Pangborn, there was Whitehead, there was, uh, well, I think Louie was the best of the James. Uh, Bunk Ecker. There was quite a few good ones, but I can't remember all the names now. Well, we're going to have a chance. Hopefully, you'll come join us. We're going to go over to roll. Or, uh, yeah, I'm, roll. we're going to go over. Good. Uh, the owners are very excited about. They went down and it's all grown in, but they've they've mm -hmm. mowed it so we can all walk through it and, I'm and sure there'll be lots of memories. Coming. Yeah. Another thing I used to do. I lived in Wrightsville and I tow the car to Lotsville with a chain. Right. I'd unhook it in Lotsville and drive it from there to the racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> and only one time in uh, Niob. I don't know if it was local police or a police stopped me. And all he did is make me hook the chain back on. Mm -hmm. So there you are, cruising down the road. What was your number? Two. Number two? Yep. So there's number two on its way to Watts Flats. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> What's the highlight of your racing career, Don? Probably the time that I won the 75 lap and passed Johnny Whitehead. So literally at the last lap, you... you yeah, the last lap I passed him. Yeah. I remind him of it every time I see him. He says, I'm still going to get even with you. <laughs> well, that's terrific. You know, there are some movies of Rollable. I have got an old movie somewhere. Well, we'd love to see it. If I can find it, like I told her, the trophy that shows in that picture, I've got that somewhere, too. Okay, Pam Brown, yeah, she's yeah. in charge of the Historical Society, and that's what we're doing this all for, capture the memories. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, I'm thrilled, Don. Is there something I should be asking you, some memory that you have that... I'll think of a lot of things when I get home. 
Well, you'll think, hopefully think of a few things when you're at the track today. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, this has been great, Don. Thanks so much. Now you're I have welcome. to get your brother over here to see if he thinks you are the best. <laughs> <laughs> he probably won't agree with that. You don't think so? No. Now, is he younger? or Younger. Is he? Yes. And is, was he racing also at the same time? Yeah. Um, yeah. This is terrific. Fifty years ago, and, and where did you live? Uh, Wrightsville. Wrightsville, and it's Glenn Little, right? Yes. And brother Don. Yeah. And what caused you guys from Wrightsville, Pennsylvania, to go over to Watts Flats? I don't really know. Don did it, so when I got old enough, I did it. Yeah. Now you were the better of the two, right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I wasn't the better of the two. What kind of car did you have, Glenn? I believe it was a 37 Ford. 37 Ford? Yeah. So really, this was a jalopy, I mean. Yeah. Did you have it on the farm? How did you find it? I bought it from Ed Nelson. Okay. Ed was a flagman there for a while. He was a flagman sure. of the state line for a long time. Right. And so you bought it from him and decided you'd try to race it like your brother. Yeah, it was all built up, roll cage and everything. I just had to put a motor in it and stay up and race it. When you went to went to Rollable Racetrack for the very first time, what did you think of it? I woke up going to the hospital. You what? <laughs> Tell me the story. Well, I went over the bank, through the creek, and hit a tree. Oh, my gosh. Busted out some teeth, busted my nose and basically come to going to the hospital. This was your first day at the track? Yeah, my first race. Oh my gosh. Do you remember how it happened? I mean, a sense of what? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. If I had if I tried to pass these guys on the outside of the corner and you couldn't do it. Right. And so you, you, you literally, did you go up on a bank or did would you? It just went up and over a little bank. Right. Yeah. Now this was between turns three and four? Three and four. Right. I think I spent about five days in the hospital. Wow, that's an introduction to the race, of course. It, I, that's an introduction. <laughs> uh, this, what year would this have been, Glenn? What year? Yeah. 57. 57. Yeah. Um, how many years did you race up there, Glenn? Actually, only a couple. Just a couple? Some that year, some more that year, and then some the next year. Right. Uh, when you raced up there in 57 and 58, who were the real top drivers? Geez, I don't really know who you call the top drivers. There's so many of them. And but it looked like there was a lot of cars and a lot of people would show. There was a lot, of, a lot of cars up there in that small track. Right. And so well, literally when the features came along, you could almost throw... Oh, yeah, sometimes you'd look and it was quite a ways around the track lined up with cars. How would they line you up? Would it by your success and the features or the semifinals? And I can't remember just how they did it. There was, a, was there a point system? That, that I, I can't even remember. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I can see why your, your first race there was certainly uh, memorable. Yeah. Uh, did you go on to race after this, Glenn? Did yeah. You, where else did you go? I raced state line for did, a while. Did you? Yeah. What's, what's the highlight of, of Glenn Little's career? Well, the second race I run up to Watts Flats, I won. You did? So the first race, you end up in a hospital. Yeah. And the next one, they starred me up front, and I won that one. I think I was the only one ever won up there. No kidding. <laughs> the state line only won something like two or three races right, each. Right, right. But we had a lot of fun. Well, it sounds like it. Were there uh, events that occurred during the uh, races that were sort of spectator related? I'm thinking of uh, uh, whether it was uh, Powder Puff or the T Bones, or was there any sort of things like that you recall? Yeah, they had powder puff races now and then. Right. And uh, Red McNair was talking about 
reverse races were... Yeah, I think they had one of them, one or two of them. Did you ever get involved in that stuff? No. No, I never did. My cars usually didn't hold together long enough to get in too many of them. <laughs> Did, did you have a garage when, when the races were over and you'd go back? Was there much of a... Did you go back and you and your brother had to keep your cars together? Yes, basically in our driveway and... Didn't have no... Yeah, he had a garage right there, but we did most of it just outside in the driveway. Right, right. Yeah. What's the highlight of your racing career? <laughs> I don't know. I just say having fun. Yeah. I think, think the last race around at Watts Flats, I think I rolled over. Well, you've then had a career. Your first race, you end up in a hospital. Second race, you win. One. And the last race, you yeah, rolled over. Yeah, I had a couple other ones in there that I run. That was about it. <laughs> Well, you, this is a legendary story here, Glenn. I love it. Yeah, well, the week that first, my first week, I ended up in the hospital. I think uh, my brother won his three races that day. Oh, is that right? Yeah. He didn't he didn't go with you to the hospital, huh? No, no. He just sat there and raced and make sure he won. He, he probably didn't even know I went to the hospital. <laughs> Hopefully he visited you at some point. Yeah, I think he did, but... Yep. This is incredible. Anything else I should be asking you? When when you walk away from here and you say, gee, I wish Greg had asked me this. <laughs> oh, not really, because you've you talked to these guys and I can't think too many stories of what they've already told you. Yeah. Well, everybody tells stories. Everybody has something. Yeah. Your story is a great one. <laughs> like I said, we're there to have fun. Right, right. Well, that seems to be the, the constant theme. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, this is great. Well, thank you so much for taking time, Glenn. <laughs> okay. I appreciate you. And we're going to go to Rollable.
pictures of him. Was he back from this time? This goes oh, yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, enjoying the yeah. right? The last right yeah. 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 And it's yeah. not exactly. competition now. Exactly. No, just, just right. having fun. Another thing, the day he knocked his teeth out, I won all three races. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The last time I was up there, the car would roll over on his car. <laughs> That was easy to do when you hit yeah. this bay. Man, I wish I it really had. was. I brought it today, you know? Yeah. I don't know what happened. Who would have guessed, huh? And then it gets yeah. so wet and muddy, you couldn't get into the pit. Is that right? Yeah. I remember one time it was raining muddy. A guy had chains on, but he backed up on the bank up there, and somebody seen the chain turn him in. Oh, yeah. You know the best set of tires we had for this track? was a huge set of abrasive winners. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, they, they really won me a, yeah. a, a $25 feature. No I kidding. Could, I could yeah. get to the tire, it looks like it's been burnt. <laughs> Piece of chrome and part of an old sign. <laughs> hey, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, sure, what fun. Isn't that something? What? Just a piece of an old sign, piece of chrome. Uh, they said that's a uh, defroster vent. You guys figured out what his stuff was? That's got a number on it. Well, this one's got a kind of a sign. You can see the making of the room. Or Look at twenty one. This is a hoot. This is a hoot. Well, yeah. Oh, here we go. What's this? Oh, geez. Look at that. Any idea who that is? Motel. Meet. Meeting. Meeting. Yeah, oh, sure. yeah. Sure, it's a motel. Down over this bank here. Yeah, and he went down there to pond right there. Nose first. Yeah, you could see it. If you get up here a little bit farther, you could see it. Right where you were talking about. And down in here there was a hole. There were water holes down there. Is that where they got the water to water the track from? Yeah. Okay. Still pretty wet down in there. What the? You so about this is the accident occurred about right here? Right here, yeah. We were watering down the turn, and uh, Don was the one that was driving the tractor. Mm -hmm. And he, he went, went to make a turn like this to go back and water the top side, and uh, I'll just tip into the trailers when the tank fell off and right on me. Was it a whoop? Just leg. And Skip, that's where I went in the drink, right down in there. Was it? I had to get my right. Yeah. The good old days. Well, most of these guys, of course, none of them have been here in almost 50 years, you know. 48. Yeah. yeah. Did you come down? Is this? Uh, yeah, I went right down through there. Okay, I seen Red Walders come yeah, down through. Left it in the pit, remember? Yeah. I seen Red Walders come down through here, and he come right to a dead stop. And all he had on for the seat belt was a log chain. And his face went in the steering wheel and busted his nose and just laid his face wide open. Remember old Budhauser? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which you created with your brother. What's your reflections on today? I feel sad. I feel glad. I'm just glad that somebody did a story on it. I never dreamed they'd do it. It's brought back a lot of memories. And I want to thank you, Pam, Randy, for all the work you put into it. It's been a great day, and the drivers made it. Oh, thank you. Same thing as he said. I'm glad for you guys doing what you've done. Did you bring back some memories today? Bring back a bunch of memories. Yeah. Lots of fun down there. <laughs> Too old to have it anymore. <laughs> yeah. So I want to thank you guys for everything. Yeah. Thank you. It was fun. Good for all of us.